Hello, hello everyone. On today's video, I'm going to show you the transformation of my living room over the years, starting on 2017. This is my living room on 2017. It was more colorful. You can see I have a green sofa. And then I changed it to, I changed the sofa to a beige color. This is 2018. This is 2019. Um, it was dull, I didn't have no life. I didn't take any pictures on 2020 due to COVID. And this is 2021, me trying to accomplish a boho look. And then on 2022, I changed it to farmhouse. As you can see, I did the uh, ship lap stripes on the walls, but then I decided to change it and try to go for a more moody look. So I painted that black, that back wall in a dark gray color. And then I started to add all the decor items and you're also going to see later on that those drapes, I changed them. So here I made a wall art and I got the prints at Witch and they were very cheap and then I got the frames at Ikea and so I did my wall art and it was super cheap. I I think the wall, the wall art, I got the prints, I got them at Witch and I think it was like $4 each and then the Ikea frame, I think it was like $20 or $24. So, and they're big, I like how it looks on the walls. And here I did my DIY olive tree. And here's another DIY project. I did this tic-tac-toe to put on top of my coffee table. And I just got a game of tic-tac-toe and spray painted the pieces and cover a wood board that I got at Walmart with contact paper. And there you go. Here's the tic-tac-toe. Here's another DIY project that I did. I used a plastic litter soda bottle and some air dry clay. And I did a plant pot to use a decor on one of my side tables.
the new drapes I got at Amazon. I'm gonna put the link on the description box below. And here you can see the transformation. And I also did another DIY that was super easy to do. I found this leaf. It was an old leaf. I don't know where I got it. I think I, my mom gave it to me. And all I did is I spray painted it gold and um, put it on the coffee table. So I did a little Amazon shopping and here are the things that I got. I got this pill and stick wallpaper that you're gonna see later on. I did a wall art with it. And I also bought this um, cushion covers. There are two. I used one for the living room and one for the bedroom. And then I got those, um, those drapes. This is the peel and stick wallpaper that I got at Amazon and all I'm going to do is I'm going to cover an old wall art um, that I had. I'm just going to put the wallpaper on top of it and I'm going to make another wall art. Here you can see I'm tri trimming the edges with an exacto knife. So here's the wall art. I like it, but I don't think I like it for that wall. I think the wall is too big or the wall art is too small. So let me know what you think if I should leave that one or leave the, the first two that I made with the wish prints and the IKEA frames. Um, as you can see, some of the throw pillows, I changed them. You can see the plate one and at the beginning I had another one. Um, so, and also, let me see what else, the lamps, I got them in Marshalls, and the wall art on the black or the dark gray wall is from Burlington. Here you can see the two wall arts. So let me know on the comments below which one you like better, the two wall arts or the one that I just made with the peel and stick wallpaper. <music> 